Hopefully I the like dinosaur it. Yeah. will be wearing it for a while, although we'll find out tomorrow, right? <laughs> that jersey is going to be a little wet, though. Mary Kay's here with yes. an update on the storms that are headed this way. Right. After dark, that looks like when the main line is going to be moving in. We could have some scattered storms ahead of it, but really, after 9 o'clock through the overnight, that's going to be the height of this storm activity. And the threat would call for winds to gust to 70 miles per hour with the strongest cells, quarter size hail, and we can't rule out an isolated tornado. Wow, what a difference in the temperatures around the area. These are the highs today. North of the front, it was only 62 in McHenry. South of the front, it was 82 in Rensselaer and in Kankakee. Right now we're at 68 degrees. We do have that cool wind east northeast at eight miles per hour, telling us the front is not quite through O'Hare just yet. In fact, Patrice is showing us that when she's in the West Loop, she kind of has that gloomy sky, you know, looking to the lakefront. Can't really see the lake. There's a little bit of fog too, but north of that front, we are holding at 57 degrees from Rich. He is in Gurney. Right now it's 57. South of the front, it's still 82 from Cheryl and Mike when we check in in Rensselaer. So depends what side of the front you're on tonight as far as how that temperature feels. But with that front lifting to the north, that's just increasing our instability. It's 85 in St. Louis, 79 degrees right now in Indianapolis, but straight up at 50 in Minneapolis. So as this heat lifts to the north, it's bumping into this cool air mass that's in place, and that's what's been generating showers and storms. It has been repeating rains for northeastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin all night and then all day. Today, we have new flash flood warnings now stepping over the border into Wisconsin tonight because three inch totals have already happened and more rain is continuing to fall. So we're waiting for this line to fill in and head in our direction. That's going to be the organized severe threat. But out ahead of it, we could get a pop up shower or thunderstorm developing. It's because of low pressure that's spinning south of Omaha and that's going to ride along this warm front as it lifts to the north and bumps into this cool breeze off the lake. So the winds coming around this high are in a clockwise position and you have southerly winds pushing this front to the north. So you're getting that collision of the two air masses and this low pressure center riding along that wave is going to be the lift that we need for that instability. So rainfall estimates, you know, it really depends who gets under those repeating or training cells because then they just repeat in the same place. Some of the models indicate one, maybe two inches of rain under those heavier cells. So let's time it out as we go through the evening hours here and the sun is set. Notice how a few storms pop ahead at 8 o'clock, but the main line starts edging closer to Rockford at 8. Then as we get into the 10 o'clock hour, we start seeing it get closer here to Lake and McHenry County and then right over Chicago through the midnight hour. Heavy rain is likely and you know we're left with a few showers in the morning tomorrow, probably just for the morning. I'm hoping that game tomorrow night at Wrigley is a dry one. So our forecast tonight, gusty storms around sunset to midnight. So really after dark is when you want to think about this. And then tomorrow we're going to be on the cool side of the system as that front presses through. So when you have a stationary front, Robin Erica in place, it kind of wavers and you can tell what day we're going to be in the warm sector. 85 with partly cloudy skies on Wednesday and then unsettled weather as we reach for marathon weekend and Columbus Day. Wow, that highlight for me is Wednesday. <laughs> right. sure. Thank you, Mary Kay. Well, Hurricane Florence